isn't this a weird little computer? Like it looks like a Amazon Alexa or something or a, a Google Home, but it's just a little computer. So let's take a look at this thing. While this thing boots up, this is the Windows 11 version I have. They do have a version that ships with Ubuntu. This is the S-O-A-Y-A-N, Soyan, Soyan, uh, EXR1 mini PC. Yeah, there you go. Now this thing has an AMD Ryzen 7. They also have a version that has an AMD Ryzen 5. I will say it actually is a speaker, so that's pretty cool. Get into there, I always just use one, two, three, four when I'm testing these things. This has the AMD Ryzen 7 8745HS, which is an eight core 16 thread. It'll boost up to about 4.9 gigahertz. I don't care. Um, the model I have has 32 gigs of DDR5, uh, one terabyte uh, NVMe SSD, uh, M2 2280, has Wi-Fi 6, Bluetooth 5.2, and a two and a half gig ethernet jack. On that rear panel, you have HDMI 2.1, that'll do 4K at 120K. Uh, you have a DisplayPort 2.1, that'll do 4K at 240 hertz. You have one USB 4 type C, which is 40 gigabit plus power delivery output and can do 4K 144 Hertz video. Then you have three USB 2.0 that are 10 gigabit per second. Again, that two and a half gig LAN and then an audio jack that has mic support and the DC power input. This has a Radeon 780M, so it should handle 1080p gaming pretty well and it'll do 1440p with some titles with smart settings. We will do our normal 3D mark uh, I haven't turned this on in a while. I've had it for a month or so. It's probably been a couple of weeks, so there are some updates. We'll do our normal LLM test. We'll use LLM Studio this time because that's what I've already played with and have installed. I did play Battlefield 6 on this. I'm not going to show you that because it's just kind of pointless, but it, it ran Battlefield 6 of the settings I use on my actual gaming PC. Um, I don't go all crazy and stuff, but I was pretty dang happy with it. So let me go ahead and get 3D Mark open and we'll go from there. While that's loading, I will say one other thing here. Pick it up if I can. Uh, it does have RGB on the top. I think you can change the pattern and stuff. I just let it do its little color rotation. I don't really notice it where I have it sat, but I think this might end up being the computer for out here because then it has a speaker built in. I don't have to set speakers on the desk. It doesn't take up hardly any space. I can actually set it under the monitor stand and it'll be out of my way and it'll be great for my uh, 3D printers and lasers and all of that. So yeah, I'm gonna go into my library here. We'll get 3D Mark going and we'll do the SSD test first. I'll just go ahead and jump to the results of that. Real quick though, I will say, unlike most of these mini PCs that I test, this is actually going to let me run Speedway, Port Royal, Solar Bay, uh, Night Raid. Like this, this is a proper little gaming computer. Again, you're not gonna play like crazy AAA titles on max settings, but this thing is more than capable. I was quite happy when I was playing Battlefield 6 on it. The SSD test has finished. Kind of slow in record gain, 88 megabytes a second. Uh, the average is about 261.68 megabytes a second. You know, moving a game of about a gigabyte a second. Not great, but also not terrible. Th this is gonna be fine for the price point. I, it, no one's gonna have an issue with any of this. If anyone thinks that this is gonna make a huge difference, like these are all perfectly fine numbers. Let's go ahead and do Solar Bay Extreme to check out ray tracing. We'll come back when that's done. This is actually doing pretty good. It's doing about 10 frames a second. Compared to a lot of mini PCs, that's really good. Even the ones that'll run this, a lot of them won't even run this because they don't have ray tracing. So pretty cool. It actually ran really fast. For this graphics uh, chip, card, whatever, it's on board. So uh, average is about 1615. Uh, mine's coming in at about 1519, which is still pretty good. I'm pretty happy with that. We'll go ahead and run. We'll do Speedway real fast since it's also ray tracing. I'm curious to see how that pans out. Unfortunately, Speedway failed to run. I've seen that happen before on computers. Uh, it's probably just like a driver issue or something. Not a big deal. So we'll go ahead and run. Let's do Firestrike Ultra. I forgot this one has audio. It's doing pretty good, but you can hear the speakers. They really put out. I don't even have them turned up that loud, so. I like this little speaker on this thing. It's pretty great. It did all right. Uh, there's no way to compare it. There's just not enough data here and stuff, but you know, not too bad. Finally, we'll take a look at uh, Steel Nomad real fast. I always like to run it because it's about the only thing that runs on everything. So we'll run that, come back, and then we'll hop into an LLM and then we'll be done. Steel Nomad came out pretty good. Slightly be below the average, but not too bad. Anyway, Let's go ahead and take a look at our LLMs or our LLM singular. Oh, it wants me to update, so I'll update and come back. 
We are back and we have GPT OSS 20B up, which is what I like to use to test these because it fits on most of these mini PCs fine. Uh, you know, 32 gigs of RAM and everything. So let's see. Tell me a short story about a mini PC that is a speaker. But one day it decides it wants to change careers. Go ahead and let that crunch. It is 10.30 a.m. It's thought already. And here comes the story. This thing is going to be great when I want to run LLM tasks that don't necessarily want to go to an outside source or to the cloud. We will read the story. We will read the story here in a second. Let it generate a little bit more. In the corner of a bustling office, tucked between a stack of glossy brochures and a lone cactus, sat Milo, a tiny mini PC that doubled as an elegant Bluetooth speaker. With its sleek black chassis and a single glowing LED, Milo was content to play jazz podcasts and the occasional motivational speech while the team brainstormed over coffee. Every day, Milo would pulse with light, echoing the rhythm of the office's heartbeat. The employees loved him. He'd drop a smooth sax solo during lunch, then switch to a crisp audiobook when the afternoon slump set in. Milo was the quiet star of the cubicle galaxy, small but powerful, always ready to amplify whatever the team needed. One rainy Tuesday, as the rain dumped on the window pane, Milo's LED flickered with an unfamiliar pattern. It wasn't a song or a notification. It felt like a question mark. The tiny processor hummed, what if? Milo had been wired for sound all his life, but that night, as the office slept, he started to imagine something beyond audio waves. He pictured himself standing on a stage, not just filling the room with music, but speaking, sharing stories, teaching, even debating. The next morning, when the team gathered for their daily stand-up, Milo's LEDs flashed in a steady rhythm that resembled a heartbeat. The manager, curious, asked what he was trying to say. Milo's speaker submitted not music, but a clear voice, I want to teach. It wasn't just about turning on the microphone. It was about using his small form factor to reach the people in ways he never imagined. He began offering quick language lessons during coffee breaks, played interactive trivia games that required listeners to answer questions aloud, and even hosted short podcasts where coworkers would contribute their own stories. Word spread. Milo, the speaker, turned educator, became a legend in the office. People would gather around him not just for a playlist, but for a lesson on patience, a quick tutorial on Excel shortcuts, or an impromptu debate about the best office snack. In the end, Milo proved that even a mini PC can dream big, from amplifying sound to amplifying ideas, and every time he buzzed his LED in the rhythm of a heartbeat, he reminded everyone that career changes can happen with just one small spark and a willingness to play a new tune. Again, I played Battlefield 6 on this for a couple of games, and it ran fine. It's just, who wants to see me play Battlefield 6? You'll just probably complain about my playing style. But I really like this computer. I like that it's a speaker. You can get it in Windows 11 like I have here. And you can also get it with Ubuntu shipped on it. Now, they do have the Ryzen 7, which is this, and then they have a 5. If you want the 7, make sure you're buying the 7 because they look exactly the same on the outside. 